Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick Learn Dash tip. Now, I'm logged in as a learner here, and what you've probably seen in, in your Learn Dash courses is that lessons tend to have a Mark Complete button at the bottom here. And when the learner ticks it to say that they've completed this lesson, it will carry them on in the course. What we've seen in the Learn Dash Facebook group and other places is people asking if there's a way for people to mark lessons as incomplete. So once they've done that mark complete, they might for some reason want to go back and revert it to the status it was before, where it was, you know, before it was mark complete. And LearnDash has what looks like a experimental feature to be able to do this. And this is called LearnDash Show Mark Incomplete. And it's not something that they talk about and you can only really find it here on this uh, developer page here. And I will point out here that it says it's a beta, which means that it might not be properly tested. And, um, you know, like it, it's a feature that could be experimental and is, is not yet intended for use. But I'm going to show you how you can use this and um, what we do to enable this mark incomplete button back on this page so that learners can mark it is incomplete again, is copy this and put it into what's called the WP config file of your WordPress installation. So within your WordPress installation, um, you'll have a file in there called wp-config.php that looks a bit like this. And you shouldn't really go poking around in here unless you, you know what you're doing and you know, you, you would need access to the web server to be able to make changes to uh, this file because it's not something that you can edit via your WordPress interface. So it's possibly worth consulting with a, a web developer or someone who knows this sort of stuff if you, if you don't know it yourself. But at the bottom of this file, um, and, and this file is, is used for just sort of your WordPress config details, database, usernames and passwords and things like that. But at the bottom, there's an area here that says, that's all, stop editing, happy publishing. And this is intended for you to be able to put bits of uh, code in here that will have an impact on your WordPress install and certain elements within it. So what I'm going to do is paste in the bit that I just copied there from the LearnDash uh, developer website there. And I'm just going to put a semicolon at the end of that. And what we're saying is define learn dash show mark incomplete and it's asking for an option here. I'm going to set that to true. So by default within your WordPress and learn dash install, this would be de defined as false. Uh, so um, you, this wouldn't appear on your site unless you go into this WP config file and manually add it yourself here. So what we've done there is added this line and then I'm going to upload that now back to the web server. And once we've done that, we'll go back to the page where this person had just marked this lesson as complete and refresh it. And what we find is that we've now got this mark incomplete button. And if I click that, what it does is it sort of reverts my progress there back to 0% complete and I obviously could then remark it as complete and carry on as normal, but we've always got this option now to mark incomplete. So I'm not sure what LearnDash's plans are for this feature, whether they're going to make it more public, but we just thought it'd be useful for you to know about it in case you potentially do want to use it. One thing we found that we'll just mention here is that we couldn't get it to work unless we had course progression set to linear. So this is the course settings for the course that you want to um, have this button on. If it was set to free form where users can go into pages randomly without having to complete the previous lesson, it didn't work. So you have to have it on this linear setting where learners have to go through and mark each lesson as complete to be able to carry on and they can't skip ahead. So we hope you find this useful and if you did, please like this video and subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel for more videos like this.